Welcome back to Geo Insights. Um, as a continuation of uh, the video on uploading, uh, or the, uh, welcome back to Geo Insights. Um, if you are new to this channel, just a brief description of what we do here. We try to simplify geoscience concept for everyone, especially your undergraduate uh, students. Here we explore wonders about the arts from plate tectonics to rock formations using easy to understand videos. And it's a channel that is perfect for students, educators and uh, people that are interested in knowing about geoscience as a whole. Uh, subscribe for clear, concise and engaging geoscience explanations. Today we are going to continue uh, on our previous uh, video about how you download topographic uh, and um, gravity data but this time around we're going to focus on topography and bathymetry data alone uh, you do that by going to a website called GEPCO and um, GEPCO stands for the general bathymetric chart of the ocean and uh, these days they are working together with the seabed 2030 which is um, a consortium or a project where they're trying to map the entire sea bed uh, of the world. We hope that will be done very soon. Uh, to download your data, you go to gridded bathymetric data. You click on this. Or you just... Scroll down. Read more. And then you go to the portal. This is the portal. Um, uh, where you can download the data from. Remember the coordinates that we divide earlier on is 11.5 to the north. So say you come to the left hand corner and put 11.5. And the southern one is 8.5. 8.5. And then 8.5 again to the west and then 10.5 and once that is correctly done you see that the grid is divided over your uh, area of interest of course you can extend this uh, you do beyond this and you can also put on the uh, graphical to find where your uh, coordinates are or what your coordinates are in degrees so you see 11.5 is 11 uh, degrees 30 minutes and um, 8 degrees um, 30 minutes and same for east and west you can read at the bottom here so to download this you can take off the grid if you want you can download the, the t-high grid you can download the geo t grid if you are using uh, GeoSoft or you're using ArcGIS or QGIS, you can download the SRE ASCII file. You can also <laughs> download the file as a JPEG, the colored map and the shaded map. Once that is done and you're sure about the area that you defined, you can add it to the basket. If it's not so big, it's then possible to download it straight away. Otherwise, you have to put in your email address and then you get a link where you can download it from. Then I'll click download. This usually should take uh, a minute or thereabout. And that is done. So if I go to my uh, download folder, it is a zip file there. You can extract it all here and it's always named according to the date so now this is the relief map the same map that you downloaded earlier and this is uh, the colored map and then you have uh, the file for the for the data is here and um you have the documentation there about the file and how to put them to use and then the 
terms and conditions for it. So again, the website is Kepco. Go to Kepco. You click on Gridded Bathymetry Map. And you come to the portal. Then you define the area that you want. Uh, if you like uh, the video, don't forget to click the like button. I also ask you to subscribe to the channel so you get notification when I upload new videos. Thank you for watching. See you soon uh, in a new video where I'll be putting some of these data that have been downloaded into Sofa. I will play around with 3D images and also how to make profile lines and tra transect lines across them. Thank you. Bye.